Hi guys, what's up? Nick here. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. So I didn't do much in this chapter, I mean in the beginning, I just waited until all of my scavenger bots were back and then uh, I basically got all the loot from them and uh, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to, I promised I was going to show you in chapter 9 the, um, the resource packs. Okay, so I have I think 35 ration seals so I go to downloadable content and here we have resource packs ultra and epic ultra cost price $1.99 or ration seals 30 epic $2.99 or ration seals 60 the only difference between them is with um, the ultra you get one MK5 weapon part with a 50% chance at a second bonus part and here you get two uh, MK5 parts with a 50% chance at a third so <clears throat> it's basically better to get the ultra one for this reason you spend half the price of the epic and have a chance to get two parts and so say you have 60 ration seals right you have a chance to get four four mk5 weapon parts if you say I only have uh, but if you say you have 60 ration seals and you spend here you only have a chance to get three you get two plus 50 percent chance to get a third one so in general it's better to go here with this one and that's what I'm going to do but it's a it's random what kind of parts you get and there's only and there's a 50 percent chance that I won't get uh, a second part so let's go ahead and purchase with ration seals never purchase with money there's no point I don't even know why this option exists actually supercharged frame and a repeater and look at all those tungsten you get 120 semiconductor scrap metal somatic and transducers the compact supercharge is gonna be good uh, and the repeater I don't know if it's gonna be good for me or not I don't think I use a repeater so all right, cool. I did that. I can now actually come here, and instead of having a compact standard frame, I can get the compact supercharged frame that I just received. Uh, unfortunately, there's a problem. Oh wait, no, this one's unlocked. Awesome. Wait, there is a problem though because where am I? I need to come here. Oh, did they unload? Yeah, they did. They unloaded all that. So now I come over here, get my MK5 one, gives better reload, and I gotta go reattach everything back. But first, I also wanna sell some things. Oh, maybe not. Guess not. Alright. Uh, damage. Two damage minus one rate of fire. The flamethrowers already has great rate of fire, so I am going to go for the two damage minus one rate of fire route. Since I already unlocked it, I can create it, and it only costs uh, ten tungsten and pathetic amount of scrap metal and semiconductors. So I'm going to definitely get four of those. Pop them on. So will give me the maximum damage I can get. And minus rate of fire, I don't care too much about it. And here, I'm not going to spend my tungsten on anything. I'm just going to add the damage. Damage and reload. Let's do rate of fire damage. Rate of fire damage. And then reload. And reload. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so I got lucky with the uh, with the supercharged compact frame. I could have gotten really something like extremely crappy, and you know, it would have been that. Okay, stasis coating. It's actually useful here, and I also unlocked the compressor, which will do the magnesium afterburner, which will give me more damage. And let's see here. Yep, diffraction torus. And then with this one, I can unlock those two and mess around here let's see damage one damage one clip one reload one clip yeah nice so rate of fire one clip damage and damage 
Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time configuring the weapons, really. And then, this sounds about right. Alrighty, here we are, we're done. Here's our new badass flamethrower. And here's our new awesome flamethrower, or blowtorch. Okay, let's go ahead and continue down the elevator. To get to the feeders. And I don't know how... Why did they just leave him here? I mean, he said he's gonna stay behind, but... They ha all have kinesis, right? They could have came came here, fixed the elevator. It doesn't take a genius to put a new part in, start this up, or or not, they don't even need to. Yeah, they could have uh, started a generator and left Buckle near the generator here, and he would have gotten heat from it. And they could have even crafted some uh, med packs. So yeah, I'm I'm really puzzled. Why Buckle had to die? He was actually the most helpful of the group. He actually helped Isaac a lot. find out a little bit more about Sam Ackerman. Holy moly! That thing scared me. It always get, it always freaks me out. Uh, I mean, just, just the freakiest looking necromorph. Okay, basically, they're called feeders. They replace the pack. Remember the pack where the little, t um, the little adolescent kids that were churned? Well, they replaced them in both, uh, you know, I guess, look and toughness. They swarm you and they're fairly easy to kill. One cool thing is that there is a special effect here. If you walk, they actually will not, won't notice you. You can walk past them. If you throw something, they will go investigate the noise. If you've shined your light, they actually will freak out. And uh, if you shine it long enough, they will come over to investigate and attack you. Um, so I'm gonna make a lot of noise here and just stay here and kill them because they drop a lot of loot. It does take them a while to come over and check stuff out, so I'm just gonna keep making noise. I could have lobbed the grenade there. So there, they finally come to check stuff out. I'm just gonna use my flamethrower here. It's much more effective. I'll still get hit, but. There's an achievement to walk past them. If you can walk past this group and the next one, you'll actually get um, an achievement. Something about hungry or something. I don't know. I've already got it, so I don't need to. I don't need to get it. All right, let's reload. Oh, headshots are critical zone for these guys. One headshot will kill them. But as you can imagine, it's kind of difficult to make the headshot because they're bouncing around like whatever. Log, Sam Acker. Three days. I've been quiet, hiding in the dark. I have to get to the radio call for help. I think there may be a way around them. By throwing small objects, I can, I can, I can trick them into investigating the noise. Ackerman! Is that you? Oh, God. I smell you! I smell... Bread Okay, so now we know how feeders are kind of made. They apparently ate the infected uh, soldiers and then they got churned into necromorphs. Okay, another area. This one's kind of tough. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and get them to come over here. And then lob a grenade in there and kill them if I can. So let's see if they'll, if they'll come over. 
Oh, this chapter is gonna have two parts, by the way. Because this is kind of a long chapter. So now, I back up here. Eh, sometimes that will happen. I didn't actually think that Isaac can get grappled here, but apparently he can. have your aim right, you can actually get headshots with the flamethrower. So it's not over yet, they're usually more... Our feeders. Unfortunately, they're coming one at a time, and they're kind of wasting time here. I think that's it, though. There's a, there's a circuit over here. I thought there was something here, maybe not. Well, obviously there's not. Okay, there's one more main encounter with them and then that's it for this level. Not too bad. Alright. Let's drop our bot here. I'll drop our bot here. <laughs> Alrighty. Definitely want to reload this, baby. Wait, why? Why was the music playing? Weird. For some reason, you can't get this until on your, uh, either on the other side or on the ground over there. Alright, here we go. It's puzzle time. And let's see if I remember this correctly. One here. One here. Now, I don't really have to say that if you get hit by that, it's probably an instant death. So, uh, don't. Okay, stasis run here. And here is where the final battle will occur. After you activate this piston, we're gonna have uh, what you call them feeders come from here and here and come at you. You can stasis this and run on the other side and have them totally uh, get killed by the pistons, or you can do the same thing on the right side. You run up forward, stasis that, and run there. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here and kill them. So, there you go. Now this one I think you want to turn twice. And then, once here. Twice. Twice. I mean, sorry, once more. Yeah, there you go. Then activate. Get 
already. So you can, if you wanted to, kind of stasis that, I suppose. Oh, maybe the, maybe the other one. Sometimes they like to bunch up over here. There you have it. That's done. Make sure that thing is safe stasis though, before you run out. You'll have plenty of time, but if it's not stasis or if I missed or if it the stasis didn't reach it, you'll be in major trouble if you run out there. I nearly forgot the weapon part, so it's coming over here. Pick it up. Sergeant Cochran, take the security key and head to Depot 212. I haven't heard a thing from Sergeant Cochran since the Franklin incident last week. I'm sure I do not have to express the importance of the supplies stored there. Find out what happened to Lumley, and more importantly, secure our food and ammunition. All right. Here we are, reached the blessed kiosk. Arctic survival suit. You actually can use any of the suits here. I think you could probably even change to the EVA suit and have it repaired. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Arctic survival. There's our Arctic Survival. I like the face mask, that was awesome. Okay. And I'm, I don't think I'm gonna upgrade anything. So... This is the Arctic Survival suit. And now it's gonna scan and allow us to pass. Don't forget this audio log. Is anyone left out there? Sam, it's Dr. Serrano. Listen, you must make your way to Facility 1. Do you hear me? Lives depend on it. Doc? Who's lying? Everyone! Just go, Sam! Go now! I'll try, Doc. I'll try. Okay, so, like I said, in co-op, the second player character in, in the prologue is called Sam. I believe that's Sam Ackerman. And, uh, what was I gonna say? I guess if you're playing solo, he must not have made it, you know? And if you're playing co-op, he must have made it, because I think you play as him. Okay, this is a good stop, a uh, good part, um, area to stop. Actually, it's here. I don't know if we get a progress save. I'm gonna pop out of here and see. No, we don't, so that's fine. So I'm gonna come back to the workbench, get all the uh, bots' uh, resources, and then start part two of this, okay? This is Nick, and I'm signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.